past week's deadly Sierra Vista mall shooting, we are taking a closer look at gun laws. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Andy Morgan. The El Paso Police Department says the suspected gunman was shot by a mall goer who was licensed to carry. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from East El Paso. And Shelby, what do we know about the man who shot the suspect? Yeah, well, Andy and Natasia, the El Paso Police Department say that El Pasoan Emmanuel Duran, who shot that 16 year old suspect, had his license at the Sea Vista Mall that says no weapons. I spoke with the gun shop director who explains to me why that sign doesn't apply to people who have their license to carry. That same 16 year old fled in the mall and was confronted by a license to carry holder who shot the juvenile as he was approaching his presence and other people in the in the mall. The El Paso Police Department says that 16 year old shot three people, killing one in the food court area of the mall before fleeing. And then he was shot by Emmanuel Duran, who had a license to carry. But here you can see a sign at the Sea Vista Mall that says no weapons. What it says on the top, it says it's a code of conduct sign. Um, that is not a legally effective sign recognized by the state of Texas that would prohibit licensee holders, that would prohibit people that are carrying permanently, however. Richard Garcia, the director of training at Sportsman's Elite and El Paso Gun Shop, explains what Duran likely went through to get his license to carry. He did is he went through, depending on when he got the license, anywhere between a 10 hour class to a four and a half hour class, as well as a written test about the Texas state gun laws, what constitutes use of deadly force, as well as de escalation techniques. Since the shooting at the Sea Vista Mall, Garcia says more people have been coming to the gun shop shooting range to practice, something he says is important if you permitless carry a gun or have a license to carry. Carrying a firearm is a huge responsibility. Um, it's not something I want to uh, anybody to take lightly. You know, if you're carrying it, whether you're carrying with your license to carry or you're carrying permitlessly in the state of Texas, Now, police say that 16 year old suspect, the gun that he used in this shooting was reported stolen and sportsman's elite does tell me that the legal age in Texas to purchase a long gun is 18, but for a handgun, it's a 21 reporting live from East El Paso, Shelby Cap KTSM 9 News.